Hello, this is Ms. Schrader. Today we are going to talk about minimalism, which is a form of art that is both in visual arts, music, and other mediums. Um, my students, you are going to be give, um, taking notes, and when you're done, you're going to be giving me 10 strong sentences about what you've learned about minimalism. So minimalism started after World War II and became really popular in the 1960s and early 1970s. Um, it is supposed to be against a reaction to abstract expressionism and modernism. And obviously it's supposed to be very minimal. Uh, the piece we're looking at is by an artist named Tony Smith. He did it in 1962. This is called Free Ride. It is a sculpture, obviously um, geometric, um, and it is six and a half, six feet eight inches by six feet eight inches by six feet eight inches. So if you were to fill it all in, it'd be a perfect square, but he is not making that attempt. And well, it does look very minimal to me. This piece is by Donald Judd. It is untitled. He made it between 1988 and 1991. It is a concrete sculpture. It is in the Billy Rose Art Gallery in the Israel Museum in Jerusalem, Israel. And I know that there are a lot of memorial gardens in Europe that are done in this style where you get big cement blocks that supposedly have some sort of meaning. But once again, it's minimalism, so you're kind of left to interpret it as you like. So minimalism is often characterized with the use of hard edges, linear lines, simple forms, and an emphasis on two dimensions. And they often are using, as you can see here, a lot of geometric shapes. And this is Frank Stella's Die Hawk Notch. I hope I've said that right. Uh, he did it in 1958. A lot of minimalism is done in sculpture form. Uh, this piece is by Larry Bell. It is untitled. It is from 1964. It is made of bismuth chromium, gold, and gold-plated brass. Um, and it is in a museum. To me, I look at it, and to be honest with you, it looks like a case in a museum where something's supposed to be displayed, only nothing's being displayed. And since it is minimalism, maybe that's the point. I was looking for a different piece when I noticed this one, and I thought this one was pretty wild. This is another Donald Judd untitled piece, and it looks like a series of thick blue shells that just go all the way up to the ceiling. Um, and I mean, this is intentional. This is the way it is supposed to look. Notice the geometric shapes, um, the contrasting colors are there, so um, it should be noticeable at the very least. Minimalism is also a style for buildings, um, and this includes um, buildings with very little to them, very straight lines, often very little in the way of windows. This particular building is Casa Baragan in Mexico City, built in 1948. And they're even doing churches in the minimalist style. This is St. Moritz Church in St. Moritz, Switzerland. It was done in 2013. Uh, you'll notice there aren't a lot of windows and even though you can identify it as a church, it's very, very blank. There isn't a lot there. So I thought I'd look for some minimalist buildings in California. I found several, but they would not tell me exactly where they were. Um, what they did tell me is, hey, if you want to design your own minimalist home, we can help you to do that. And this was one of the examples, and it does look very minimum. I do notice they have some large windows. 
So I thought I would try finding minimalist buildings in Sacramento. And they showed me these two buildings. They are banking buildings in downtown on uh, around 8th and 9th streets. And you notice one, they're mirror buildings. Um, they mirror each other. They sort of turn towards each other. Uh, they are very minimalistic. There are a lot of windows um, and they're very tall, but there isn't a whole lot of decoration to them. You can buy a lot of very modern, very inexpensive minimalist artwork for your home if you wanted to. This piece is called The Rise of Minimalism, and it was $29.99 on Amazon. I like this piece better, maybe because it is less, less minimalistic, um, but they're saying it is minimalistic, so there you go. All right, my students, um, you are giving me 10 sentences about what you found interesting, educational, and important about minimalistic art.